it's your turn. All right, Leo, this is going to be a general reading, not a love reading. Okay, as of right now, I will no longer be doing love readings unless requested. Um, you know, like if you're paying for a love reading, yes, I will do that for you. But I will no longer be doing love readings on this channel as of right now. Okay, I put up a community poll where people could vote and the vote came back um, that everyone wanted to see general reads, not love reads. Okay, so the two top um, votes were um, divine masculine and feminine energy reads you know as far as like the twin flame journey goes energy updates so I'm going to be doing those still so there will be a little bit of love reads on here they're not totally gone guys don't panic <laughs> and as far as the reads that I'm doing for for the astrological signs for the months we are going to be doing general reads so that being said, let's dive right in. I just read for Cancer. You know, it's really funny though. Like, so I did a read for Aries. It was normal. Okay. It was just a normal general read. I did a read for Taurus. Just a normal general read. I read for Cancer. Boom. Love reading. Nothing came out but love cards. And I'm like, oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> and then I read for Cancer today. And boom, love reading. And I'm like, what is going on? Like, I, it was this overwhelming energy of love. So I'm like, all right, well, if it comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't, it's fine. Like, uh, anyways, so there's that. It's like when you're trying to avoid something, spirit shoves it in your face and goes, nope. <clears throat> all right, so let's let's dive in, Leo. And I, I don't know what to expect from your reading at all. So let's just... <laughs> Let's just dive in and see what spirit has for you. Okay, my beautiful Leo. We're reading now for Leo. I'm going to go ahead and connect to... Oh, one second. Let me pause this. Let's rock and roll. Okay. Okay, Leo. I was just going ahead and doing a little quick meditation to connect to your spirit team for the Leos that watch me. And thank you. I'm so grateful for all of you. All right. What do we have for Leo? Leo, beautiful Leo, what do we have for Leo? Now I'm going to go ahead and just get a few cards out so I can get the energy and the feel and the little storyline going for you. And then I'll show you the cards. Okay, Leo, what do we got for Leo? Oh, my thumb hurts. Oh, of course, of course. We have death. Of course we have death. <laughs> so a huge transformation, lots of changes. You know, change can be scary sometimes. Like like the whole death card looks pretty damn scary. But if change scares you, my dear Leo, take a deep breath and let it out. Because the only one constant that we have in this life is things are always changing. So the sooner we can accept, you know, that change is inevitable, the sooner we can... Um, wow, Leo... <laughs> the sooner we can um, embrace inner peace. We have justice. Oof, Leo, you have some two major arcanas right off the back. My be right off the bat, my beautiful Leos. And some Ten of Swords energy. Wow. Okay. So we have justice, Ten of Swords. Why do we have the Ten of Swords here for Leo? Now, Ten of Swords can be a little bit scary but it's basically this energy of some type of upheaval almost like a tower energy um four of pentacles all right let's let's start to dive into this so we have change and we have justice okay justice is about things balancing out now in order for things to balance out sometimes we have to have a ten of swords right um, the Ten of Swords is, if you, if you know, in the standard tarot deck, it's a guy, he's laying down, there's ten swords in his back, right? It looks a little scary. Um, it can be the energy of being backstabbed, right? Um, I would say my word of advice to you, Leo, would be to protect your energy. Um, it feels like, it doesn't feel like anything super duper bad. And, you know, this this is definitely the energy for Leo, because I did a personal reading for myself, and I am a Leo as well, and I got this card as well. 
um, along with some major arcanas, not these ones. So the energy and the advice... The, or the energy, I'm sorry, Leo, I'm getting distracted. Um, channeling is, is very hard because the messages come quickly sometimes, faster than the English tongue can, you know, whatever, articulate. So the energy doesn't feel overwhelmingly bad. It feels like there might be something that happens along the line which kind of knocks us off kilter, right? You know, the energy of something that happens, you're not quite expecting it. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. It's just something that happens that's unexpected and you go, wow, oh, okay, so how do I deal with this? Now, my advice to you, Leo, would be to embrace it, okay? It's coming with, you know, death card. So it's going to be a dramatic change, but it doesn't have to be a bad change, right? Justice is about things balancing out. So this change has to happen in order to balance out the energies in your life. It's necessary, and this is also about getting what you deserve. So if you're putting out really beautiful, good, high vibrational energy, you don't have to worry about this being super duper negative, right? I have the four of pentacles that came out after the ten of swords. So this ten of swords energy and this justice energy could be about something in regards to your, your um, financial stability now, the Four of Pentacles is about having stability. So whatever it is that's going to happen is going to be a good change, okay? It might not feel like it in the time that you're in this Ten of Swords energy. You know, you might have to lose some friends. You might feel stabbed in the back. Something might happen where you realize that those you thought were loyal to you, Leo, are not. They never were, right? But it's going to bring about some much needed stability in your life. Look at this. The Four of Pentacles comes after this Ten of Swords. And the Four of Pentacles is about having stable financial future, right? It's about having stability. The, it's four is a very stable number, right? Think of a table. It has four legs. It's having um, four legs to stand on, right? Whatever the situation is, it's stable. The, the table right here that I'm using, it's stable. You know, I can't knock it over unless I physically pick it up and throw it, right? So it's stable. A strong wind's not going to blow it over, right? So it's about having stability in your life and especially in your finances, Leo. So embrace this change. If you have to get rid of something, a job or a person or something that doesn't feel right for you, know that it's going to happen anyways, okay? Ooh, that card flew out. Leo, eight of wands. Wow. So whatever's happening, Leo, it's going to happen very quickly. And there's going to be no, you're going to have to take a lot of deep breaths because it's going to happen very quickly. Eight of wands is extremely fast forward moving energy. I feel like once this whole change happens and if you can learn to surrender and embrace it, boom, Leo, it's things are going to move very quickly in your favor. Let's see what else do we got for Leo. All right, tell me about this Ten of Swords, okay? Tell me about the Ten of Swords. What is the Ten of Swords in regards to for Leo? Let's see if they'll let us see, Leo. Sometimes Spirit's like, hell no, bitch. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. <sighs> so that doesn't really give me a lot of information. Um... But it is letting me know that you're going to feel very protective of your energy, which, you know, Knight of Wands is a protective energy, right? And you might feel a little bit overwhelmed and exhausted when all of this stuff starts going down, Leo, but just know that you are protected. Not only are you learning to protect your energy and set up boundaries, but this is the number nine of wands is the card of like being divinely guided by your angels and heavily protected so whatever it is you're going through it's not going to knock you down okay you have this is about this is the wounded warrior it's even though you might be wounded you have the energy to continue and keep fighting because you're leo okay the name of your game is strong your strength your card is literally strength that's the leo card that represents Leo's energy 
down pat. You got this, Leo. You're on the last leg of your race before all of your good shit comes in. So don't you dare give up, my beautiful fire signs. All right, let's see. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What's coming in quick for Leo? Why do we have the Eight of Wands? What's coming in quick for Leo, please? You know what? I'm going to put all these cards back in to see if we have any repeating energies. What do we have for Leo? Why do we have the Eight of Wands? What is coming in quickly for Leo? Woo, that card flew out. Your energy is beautiful, Leo. This is what's coming in quickly for Leo. Ten of Cups. Something emotionally fulfilling. It could be love. I don't know. Okay. But whatever it is, it's going to bring some emotional fulfillment. Cups are about emotions. And Ten of Cups is happily ever after energy, right? So whatever it is that's coming in, it's going to make you extremely happy, Leo. It's coming in quickly. Okay. It's emotional fulfillment. I don't know what emotional fulfillment that is. We'll dive deeper into this. We'll get two more cards from this deck and then we're going to move on. All right, what else does Leo need to know? After this, we'll do a Power of Love card, and then we'll dive back into Tarot to see if there's any repeating energies. And then we'll do a career portion, and we're going to be done. What else does Leo need to know, please, for December? Leo, what does Leo need to know? Three of Wands. Okay. What else? We have for Leo. For one more card for Leo. From this deck, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this Three of Wands shows me that you've been doing a lot of thinking about your future, Leo, and you don't have to worry at all. Look at this. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which came out with like the card of waiting very patiently for your ships to come in, waiting for that shift in energy. This could possibly be working with someone else in regards to your finances, right? You know, some of you might be talking to a financial advisor. Some of you might be collaborating with people in order to create this wealth for yourself, this manifestation of wealth, okay? And it's coming. Queen of Pentacles is a very patient, beautiful earth sign energy. You know, it it is a divine feminine, but it doesn't have to be. You know, you could be a divine feminine watching this, or you could just relate to the feminine. Either way, the energy is of a feminine who's very patient, okay? She's very hardworking because she likes luxury. I mean, hello, Leo, we love to be luxurious. We love feeling rich. We love feeling wealthy. We love luxury, okay? That's just a Leo trait. We love the finer things in life. We like, you know, filet mignon and, well, I don't because I'm a vegetarian, but... <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you Leos love the finer things in life. You like, you know, to have really nice things and that's okay. And this is the energy of a, of someone that has that stuff. So, But here's the thing. This person is not afraid of hard work. The Queen of Pentacles didn't get her luxury by sitting on her ass and being a lazy bitch. The Queen of Pentacles acquired her wealth by working her ass off every day patiently tilling her crops every single day okay the queen of pentacles is an earth sign and so she sits there and does the same patient repetitive task over and over again knowing that it's going to pay off and one day she's going to be able to be bougie as fuck okay so there it is leo <laughs> i love it i love this energy for you leo let's pull a power of love card for you <laughs> to see what um, superpower is being activated and <laughs> and as far as your inner love maybe your outer love who knows maybe it's romantic love i don't know let's see we're gonna keep going what do we got for leo this energy is feels so good for you leo i am so proud of you i'm proud of all the signs i mean all of the signs oh you guys are working so hard at your soul's journey and I am so proud of all of you all of you have some really beautiful manifestations coming in and it's just so gorgeous Leo creativity all right let's get it to focus you love to devise new ideas innovations and forms of illumination all right love that Leo okay so 
you know, Leo as a sign is very creative anyways. And so Leo, you're definitely looking into new ways to pursue different avenues to create more luxury for yourself, right? But also this is talking about forms of illumination. So you're very innovative when it comes to your spirituality, right? You, you are looking at new ways of connecting to, you know, your spiritual path, right? So whether that's getting into new forms of meditation, you know, um, dance meditation, you know, trance meditation, um, different forms of moving your body, different forms of connecting with your spirit guides, you know, whatever that is for you, Leo, you are looking into different avenues of how to connect to your soul and to your path. And it's beautiful. And I love that for you, Leo. Keep on focusing on those beautiful ideas because <clears throat> they're going to bring you in that moolah, Leo. I see lots of money in your future. Um, and it also in your present. So let's claim that. All right. So what else do we have for Leo? We're going to dive now into the smaller tarot deck that I have here. <clears throat> what do we have for Leo? And then we're going to do a career portion. Two cards for your career. For those that are entrepreneurs. And for those who work a nine to five. So I'm going to cover both y'all. I got you, Leo. I got you. Okay. Don't you worry nothing about nothing, no, Leo. Okay. Every little thing is going to be all right, Leo. All right. What do we got for my beautiful Leos? What's up? What it is? What's up? What we got for Leo right now? <laughs> I'm a damn fool today. Uh, Six of Cups. Six of Cups. I'll put them up in a minute. I need to. Let's get let's get some cards out. So, <clears throat> some of you Leos might be experiencing a little bit of nostalgia with this whole Mercury retrograde. You're thinking about your past loves and your exes. Don't do that, Leo. They are not even worth it. <laughs> Don't do that, Leo. Page of Wands. So, you could have someone watching you. And also, the Page of Wands is about good news, okay, coming in from somewhere very quickly again good news coming in okay um it's also fire sign energy i see some chili peppers on there <laughs> it could be some kind of a spicy form of communication leo if you know what i mean from someone take that how it resonates okay i'm being very drawn to this hold on <laughs> i'm being very drawn to this Ooh, look at that you have the moon Diving deep into your... Okay, so I'm getting distracted. I'm being very drawn to this thing. It kind of looks like a honeycomb. So I feel like someone might try to like sweet talk you, right? In this like spicy form of news or communication, right? It could be a past lover. Don't let them... Um, what's it called? Uh, don't let them gaslight you, Leo. Okay. If it feels right, go with it. If you can tell that they're just trying to sweet talk you because they want something from you, you know better than that, Leo, okay? You already know you're a Leo. <laughs> Don't go there, right? Don't go there. We never take X's back, especially not around Mercury Retrograde. That's a big hell no, okay? All right, so there's that. Now, this communication could be also something that you've been waiting on for a long time. Remember, you had the Ten of Cups, so if this is a good communication, then roll with that, Leo. You'll, you're you going to know because your gut will tell you, you, Leos, you have a really strong intuition anyways, Leo. Trust your gut. If it feels like shit, it's probably shit. If it smells like shit, it feels like shit, it's probably shit. Now, if it feels good and your soul lights up and you get tingles upon tingles all over your body leo your whole body just lights up and you get the ums then you know it's it, trust that feeling leo you're gonna know okay <clears throat> we have the moon okay now let's see why we have the moon here why do we have the moon for leo let's tell me why we got the moon for leo I feel like also, Leo, like you're really diving into some really deep shadow work, right? 
Um, you're, yes, see, look, we have the Hierophant. So you are definitely diving into this, your shadows, and you're trying to discover, you know, this is the energy that Cancer had as well. The energy of like trying to figure out why you have certain belief systems and, you know, possibly getting rid of them and flipping whatever it is that you believe right upside down and into a total, for some of you, a total different path, right? It's, it's a literal flip of like everything that you believed in on its end, right? So like, for example, you're a, you know, a really, really strong Christian. It's all of a sudden, this religion doesn't feel good to me anymore. I think I want to try out Buddhism or, you know, that's the energy. And I think it's because you're diving into your shadow work. You're just throwing yourself into it. The moon is about dealing with things that are in your subconscious. So you're trying to discover where do I have shadows which are holding me back, right? All right, let's get two more cards for Leo and then we're going to go on to the career section. This, is getting, this reading is getting too long. What else do we have for Leo, please? All right, we have two of swords. So this is about something some kind of clarity and again some kind of truth it might come in with the news right it's being able to see clearly it also can represent someone who has very deep feelings for you leo as well um the wolf sort of lurking under the desk lets me know that you know you might feel like you're sort of doing a solo journey right now and you're kind of stuck at a crossroads or maybe you're trying to make a decision. Should you do this or that? But you're never alone, Leo. Even wolves sometimes run in packs. Wolf packs, right? Right now, I feel like you're doing a lot of solo work, though. Wolves can run in packs and sometimes they choose to run solo right there's the chariot wow so these are the last two cards we had for leo so the chariot is about travel okay for some of you you might be getting a new vehicle or you might be going on a trip um chariot is also the sign of cancer so take that how it resonates i'm not sure how that's going to fit in with some of you but um you know the chariot is about forward movements and like I said, traveling. So I feel like some of you are going to be doing a lot of traveling this month. And also it's about integrating your light and your dark. So definitely facing a lot of shadows here with this moon energy. You have a lot of major arcana that came out. That came out, um, Leo. The Hierophant is also Taurus energy. Okay. All right. So that's good. All right. Let's do the career portion for you, Leo. <clears throat> All right, so let's do a card for those who are entrepreneurs or work for themselves first, please. For those Leos that are entrepreneurs or who work for themselves, let's get a card for them for the career portion, please. For those Leos that work for themselves, the boss, boss bitch Leos, right? All right, we have clean energy food. And let's get a card for those who work a nine to five or who work for someone else, please. <clears throat> for the Leos that work for someone else or work a nine to five job, please. All right. Donations, tithing, and charitable work. All right, let's dive into this one first for the Leos who are entrepreneurs or work for themselves. Clean energy food. Let's get this to focus. When you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and your ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. Ooh, so this is about cleaning out your system, Leo. It's time to consider maybe changing your diet to something more healthful. Now, I am pretty much a vegetarian. Occasionally, and this is very, very occasionally, I will eat fish. Um, 
So, but generally, like, I try to eat, you know, very cleanly. I eat a lot of fruits. I eat a lot of vegetables. I try not to eat things that are processed very often, like, you know, chips or things that are dyed with artificial dyes and stuff. I try to eat as raw as I can. And, you know, it, it does help. It helps you to manifest faster. It helps you to raise your vibration. Since I've done that, I have I noticed I have way more energy levels where before, like, I felt sick all the time and sluggish and just very dense. So I will say, from personal experience, Leo, it's a really good thing, <laughs> okay? Now, for those that work a nine to five, let's dive into this one. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. This is incredible. I've literally been doing this lately. <laughs> I just recently um, had a male client who um, bought a really expensive reading for, from me. And I was so super grateful because it came right at the nick of time for Christmas. <laughs> so I am able to give my, my kids a beautiful Christmas. But before I put all that money away for, you know, Christmas and stuff, I made sure I gave to like three people that I knew really, really deserved something extra special for me. And if you don't know, Leah's love language is gift giving. We love to receive gifts and we love to give gifts. It's how we say I love you, at least for this Leo anyways. Um, and so definitely. And it's funny because as soon as I gave to those that I felt needed that little extra love, um, all of a sudden I got contacted for like three free things. <laughs> Someone offered to do a spiritual mentorship for me. And um, also I had someone do a, sh a free shadow reading for me. And also someone did a career reading for me out of the blue, completely out of nowhere and unexpected. And I felt so blessed. I almost cried. I, my heart just overflowed with love. And that just goes to show you that when you give out that beautiful love energy, Leo, it just boomerangs right back. And I am so blessed and I love all of you so much. So if anything resonated, please, Leo, smash that like button, share with all your beautiful Leo friends and subscribe if you feel guided because all of those are free ways to support my channel and I can continue to support you on your beautiful journey, Leo. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in my description box below my video. Just click on the Goldie appointment fix and it'll book your reading. Also, for those of you that have booked readings, thank you. I'm so blessed to have you in my life and to be able to work with you. Um, also what else, what else? Um, there's other ways you can support me. Um, there's links below my description box. I have a Patreon and it's only five, $5 and 55 cents a month. And you know, you get to support me and know that, you know, I can continue to support you and it's, it's a way of give and take, right? It's a way of equal energy exchange, right? You get these readings for, for free and that you also get to support me in a loving beautiful way, right? And I also have ways if you just want to give a one-time donation or tip, I have two different tip jars that you can tip me at, a cash app and also a PayPal. I love you, Leo. Bye.